challenge. Teams are asked to design and create a puzzle that will be assembled during the presentation. Be on the lookout for the crucial piece, which is the most important piece of the puzzle. The team has also created two puzzle solvers that will use technical methods to assemble the puzzle. Ah. Teams will also include a pivotal moment in the story during which at least one character's understanding changes. Special. <laughs> Teams were also asked to include two team choice elements that show off their interests, skills, and talents. <laughs> I am pleased to present the team hashtag no filter from Centerville, Ohio. The team is cool with filming and photography, but please no flash photography. Audience, are you ready? ancient being. Uh, I'm so excited to look for puzzles of the past. How do you know we're even going to find anything? I don't, but I have high hopes. Being an archaeologist has its highs and lows. Just be positive. I'm just being realistic. Let's go set up this puzzle solvers. Why is Brooklyn such a negative Nelly? I'm not really sure. I've worked with her since we got out of school, and she's always had such a negative understanding of the world. I really hope she changes her viewpoints. Hmm, that's kind of sad. I hope things end up working out for her. We've done our research. There should be something here at this temple. Come on, let's go inside. so beautiful? No. Why not? Because it's old and rusty and ugly. Well, you know, old things really give us an insight on how things were in the past, and it helps us plan better for the future. I disagree. Why? Because we already have updated technology nowadays. Why do we need all this old stuff from the past? Well, we need to continue to uh, grow as a society, and I think the past will really help us. That's why I got into this profession in the first place. That doesn't make sense. Why? Why? Because old things don't help new things now. New things come from new technologies that smart people nowadays have come up with. Ah, spider! You're scared of a spider, but not a, 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 a dead body? Yeah, the spider's alive, the dead body's dead? I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Here, look at this. It looks like a piece of some sort of animal. Here, find some more pieces and get to work. We'll figure out the story behind this puzzle. Since when do I take orders from you? Just do it. It's your job. And look, I found some more pieces. <laughs> cool. So, what kind of animal do you guys think it'll be? I think it'll just be another dinosaur. That's why we keep finding sort of relatives. I hope it's something a bit more interesting. Like maybe hmm, a lizard. <laughs> what is that? It's a mix of a lizard and a lion. Just imagine it. With a lion face and a lizard body. The face is all fluffy and cute, but the, but the body is scaly and friendly. That would look so goofy. Scales. Hmm, maybe it's a dragon or something. There are also snakes and crocodiles that have scales, something a bit more realistic. Maybe it's a snelk. What is that? A so mix of a snail and an elk? No, a mix of a snake and an elk. Some animals have bodies that are wavy like a snake and antlers like an elk. It makes perfect sense. No, it really doesn't. I think I've heard of it before, but I don't just don't remember because it was too ridiculous to be true. I think I've heard it too. I think it's an ancient legend. You know, you guys are archaeologists. You should know these kinds of things. Well, I'm sorry I don't remember some stupid legend about a snake elk creature. You guys are both crazy. It's going to be a normal, boring animal. 
I agree with Lucy. It's definitely going to be a smell. Well, let's just wait until we put the rest of the pieces together, then we can settle this debate. You know, it'd be really exciting if we can go back and tell the whole world about the declining snail population. You really believe in that? It has to be a myth. Well, yeah, what else could this be? It's definitely going to be a snail. Let's just finish putting the pieces together and we'll see. Look what it's becoming. Look what it's becoming. I've never seen a touch animal before. See, I told you it would be a snail. We don't know what it is yet, and all the pieces have been put together. Who dare enter my jungle? I have witnessed your recent endeavors to discover the past of this jungle. What? This can't be happening. Someone should be playing a prank on us. Right, guys? Right? I didn't go to 20 years of archaeology school for this. This is foolery. I just don't understand. Hey, pull yourself together. We're in front of an ancient being. Show some respect. I am, in fact, very much real, and here to tell my story. When I was a young Snelk, I witnessed the war between the humans and the Snelks. They accused us of taking their ruin. Before that, there was never a dispute between the Snelks and the humans. They came charging into our land, and we knew we had to do something to protect it. We won and killed the humans. Ever since then, the humans hated us and have seen us as evil. The reason the Snelks left is because we didn't want the jungle to perceive us as bad, and we were supposed to be a pure representation of it. Well, where did you guys go if you left? Why are you asking? Do you want to go to their graveyards, dig up their dead bodies, and show them to people? No, I was just curious. Jeez, chill. They went far away. We don't want any humans to know because they hate the Snelks so extinct. But really, they've been hiding this whole time. Come on, tell us where you guys are hiding. We won't tell anyone. That's a lie. Okay, yeah, you don't have to tell us. But the legend said the Snelks are bad. The legend is not true. It was made up by the humans because they didn't want to look bad. I knew it! You didn't even think the Snelks were real. Now you see that they are. It's not my, it's, well, excuse me for not thinking that snake elk was a real thing with no proof. Now that you have some, do you believe it? Yes, because I can see it with my own eyes, I now understand that I need to be more accepting in, of new and different ideas. I will expand my horizons to be more accepting of the people around me. You know, finding an ancient creature is more believable than Brooklyn ever expanding her horizons. <laughs> hey, I really do want to change. I think I should be a bit nicer. That might be what has been holding me back in this business. Hey, it is good that you want to change. Now we will all get along better and there will be more positive energy between us. So, all-knowing Snelk, if your species really is good, can you help us? How? Can you give us a map? We would like to show the others our discovery and the truth about the Snelks. Here, I can give you something better. I can see that you have almost finished my fellow Snelk, but you are missing one crucial piece. If you look behind me, you will find the piece that will show you the direction where the rest of the Snelks are hiding. Wow, you found it. it took you long enough. Look, it looks like the snow! <laughs> so great to see you in a good mood. <laughs> Thank you so much, Snow, for giving us the crucial piece and helping us. We will now clear your species name in human history. You know, I really appreciate all you uh, all you have done with us. And it's really nice to see your tail. Obviously, that's something you share with your fellow snucks. That's nice. Are there other, are there other patterns? No? Really? That's Look! A flag popped up! And it's pointed in this direction! This way! This must be where the rest of the stuff's are hiding. Come on, everyone! The truth will be out!